So we just finished the pre-judging at the bodybuilding competition and it is time to get some sweets to eat for later. So we are here at Coca Dots Cake Shop. Really, really, really love cupcakes. Do you also love getting diabetes? And I'm excited to see what kind of cupcakes they have. Apparently this place won Best Cupcake 2011, 2012, and 2013 on the Cupcake Wars. So uh, let's go see what they got. So overall, I want to say I'm pretty impressed with the presentation. We ended up choosing four different cupcakes. First one here is the OMG. Then I got the double chocolate chip cookie dough. I had the cannoli and the blueberry almond cake. So the presentation looks absolutely amazing. Um, the cupcakes are a little dense. The box is pretty heavy, so they cost $2.75 a piece, so the total with tax was $11.58. So a little expensive for four cupcakes, but they look so good. I'm really excited to try the cannoli one and also the double chocolate chip. The inside filling is supposed to have amazing chocolate chip mousse inside. And the OMG is their best seller. And then of course this blueberry almond um, is the one that won the Cupcake Wars. As I mentioned before, uh, this company, one of the owners, did win the Cupcake Wars on the Food Network. So they're pretty highly rated here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Um, so I'm excited to dive in and uh, see what they uh, taste like. The initial impression, they, they look very tasty. So let's dive in and see. A few moments later. So just finished that shower, much needed. Uh, go ahead and uh, give this video a like if you uh, feel like how I looked stupid with all that uh, orange spray tan on my face or if you just think I look better now, go ahead and uh, give this video a like for me. So anyways, now it's time for the cupcakes. In case you're wondering, still got a little bit of muscle. Although the spray tan's gone, still a little bit there. So these are the cupcakes. They are from Coca Dots Cake Shop. So let's go ahead and get started. We got our essentials, fork and our knife, our four cupcakes, and some water. So let's go ahead and uh, dig into these bad boys and uh, see how they taste. I'm gonna move the light a little bit over here, so I'll just readjust the camera real quick. All right, so the first one I'm gonna try um, is the blueberry almond. So this cupcake is what the lady at the store told me is the one that won uh, one of the challenges on Cupcake Wars. So this is a blueberry cupcake with uh, almond cake and a butter cream frosting. So let's see how it tastes. I'm not going to start with the fork because why do that? So I'm pretty excited for this one right off the bat. So it has blueberries inside. Not really tasting the almond cake. And the frosting almost has like a orange taste to it. I 
as I say that, that last bite tasted exactly like almonds. That was weird. Rest of the cupcake, not much consistency throughout, so I would have to rate that cupcake. See, the problem is I'm really a fan of blueberries, so I don't want to overrate it. I'm going to say a 7 out of 10. Reason being is because I didn't taste the almonds until the very end. Um, and there's only one, that one blueberry in there that you saw when I initially bit it. Um, no more blueberries throughout, so that was a little disappointing. Next, I think we're going to switch over to chocolate. <clears throat> now, this one is the chocolate, double chocolate, chocolate chip cookie dough. So, supposed to have chocolate cake, chocolate frosting, cookie dough mousse, and then filled with cookie dough on the inside. And just in case you're wondering, these are actually small. I'm not just a giant with massive hands. Um, they're literally about the size of a, of a thumb. Like, they're small cupcakes. So that brings me back to the uh, paying, what, 275 or 250 per cupcake. Little crazy considering how small they are, um, unless they really delivered on flavors. So that first one wasn't bad. I'm gonna say seven out of 10, but could have had more almond taste to it and could have had more blueberries so being called blueberry almond. I feel like the two major ingredients in that name of the cupcake were kind of lacking. So let's try this one. That's the first bite. Um, completely chocolate on the inside. I don't see any cookie dough. So We have struck cookie dough. I don't know if it's actually cookie though. Cookie, cookie dough though. I don't know if it's actually cookie dough because this mousse on top is pretty good, but whatever's underneath it, I think is the exact same thing. So I'm not really sure how they're calling that cookie dough. This one got a little messy, so I might have to use the fork on this. So that is what they're calling the cookie dough. But if you look at that side, which is what was on top, that looks more like cookie dough to me. So the chocolate cake is just chocolate cake. nothing too impressive about it. It's actually uh, a little dry. Um, if I had to rate this one, I'm going to have to say like a 5 out of 10 because if I close my eyes and ask me what that flavor was, and they didn't know there was supposed to be cookie dough, they would have just said chocolate with some whipped cream on top. I was really missing the cookie dough flavor, which is sad if you're going to call it a cookie dough cupcake. So, two more to go. Um, I'm going to go with the cannoli next. Reason being is because the Oh My Gosh cupcake, the other one, is supposedly the most popular, and I just destroyed that with my thumb. So, that's great. That frosting is the same as the blueberry almond. That's weird. Not what I expected on a cannoli. This is the cannoli cake with a giant thumbprint in that side. Um, looks like it has a piece of cannoli on top. Otherwise, kind of looks like a plain uh, vanilla cake. Cupcake. So, let's see how this one tastes. I tried to go with unique flavors when I picked because I only got four. Um, because they were so expensive. That's the, that's the quality of the uh, craftsmanship there. So we'll just stick that back on top. Actually, you probably have to take back off the top because
Now, I was about to give that cannoli a compliment. I think it got really sour for some reason. That was weird. Let's see how the cake is, though. I suspected. Just cake. Let me feel it closely. You can see how dry that is, because that is... That's dry. I've had better. Still has a sour taste to it. I don't get that at all. That all is useless. Look how dry that is. Look how hard that was to pull apart. That's not it's not moist at all. So I'm not gonna eat the rest of that cake. It's just empty calories. <clears throat> So because that one was so bad, minus the cannoli on top, if I had to go back, I would actually say that the blueberry is still a 7. I would give the cookie dough one a 6 because that's definitely a 5. Now, the OMG cupcake, this one right here, what they claim is their most popular cupcake. Um, so if this one isn't like knock my socks off, then that's not too good because they claim this is their best seller and if it's their best seller hopefully it's the best tasting one too <clears throat> i understand different people have different palettes but if it's gonna be your best seller it must be like word of mouth or something that it's probably one of the better ones although the blueberry almond one she said is what one on cupcake wars so i'm not surprised that so far that's the best one this one is supposed to be a chocolate cupcake with a chocolate mousse on top peanut butter underneath, and then some kind of filling on the inside. So I think that's why I call it Oh My Gosh. It has multiple layers of flavor. Um, right after taking it out of the package, I felt something hard on the bottom. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like there's an Oreo um, as the base. So, yep, most definitely an Oreo is the base. So that's interesting because I thought the cup, the cake was cooked really hard until I realized it felt like a cookie on the bottom. It indeed is. It's an Oreo. So let's give this one a try. A little hard. Icing on top. Okay, so icing on top has this weird shell. You can see this. And it breaks off. And then underneath, it's peanut butter mousse. So, that surprised me a little bit. In the inside, Oreo, peanut butter, peanut butter mousse, and white chocolate mousse coating. So, on a chocolate cupcake. So far, quite a few different flavors going on. Mm. Wow. First of all, that is delicious. Awesome. Look at that layering. Now we're onto something. I have to look around, see if anybody else is experiencing how good this cupcake is. Fancy. 
fancy from the sides, so you can appreciate the layering. Let me just dress it up a little bit. Get a feel for that layering. Oreo, peanut butter, chocolate cake, peanut butter mousse, white chocolate frosting. It's like an ogre. It has layers. I think I butchered that saying, but that was from Shrek. So that just fell out, so we'll just uh, plug that back in there. <clears throat> As far as I'm concerned, hands down the best cupcake I had. If I had to choose, that's either a 9.5 or a 10. The cake was moist, had good chocolate flavor. The Oreo gave it texture. Um, the peanut butter was really rich. And then that peanut butter mousse on top just kind of heightened it, but then it had a white chocolate hard coating for more texture on the top. So overall, I would say that one is a 9.5 or 10. Um, <clears throat> the blueberry almonds still a seven, and that makes the cookie dough look like a five or a six. And then whatever that other one was, the uh, cannoli, like a four or five. So overall, not too bad. <clears throat> if you're ever in Myrtle Beach, I don't suggest checking them out. Um, but I would definitely suggest sticking to the OMG cupcake unless they have other flavors there. All the other flavors are kind of seasonal. They had like some key lime, pina colada, um, flavors that looked really boring. Um, as far as like the pina colada one just said it was regular cake with a pina colada frosting or the key lime was just key regular cake with key lime frosting. Like if you're just going to flavor the frosting, not really interested. Whereas those were like supposed to be more in-depth layered cupcakes, although the cannoli was just a cupcake with a piece of cannoli on top. And um, I feel like the cookie dough was just a chocolate cupcake with cookie dough on top. And the blueberry was just blueberry. So um, I feel like the, the girl oversold me a little bit, but overall, not bad. Not the best cupcakes I've ever had, but definitely not bad either. Um, yeah, so that ends my review of these cupcakes. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be putting out more content soon, hopefully fitness related and also food related. So if you're interested in either one or both, go ahead and give my uh, channel a subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.